Hi, Mark Power here once again. And uh, this time I'm going to talk about how the brain works, and uh, especially the stuttering brain, and how it works differently when people are stuttering than how the brain works in normal speakers or speakers who don't stutter. Uh, the facts about what I'm about to say come from some pretty uh, sophisticated research using MRIs uh, to uh, uh, look at uh, different parts of the brain, PET scans to look at the blood flow in the brain, and also EEGs, the electronic activity. All these things uh, point to the same thing, that people who stutter use their right hemispheres for speaking. Now that is very important because uh, in the population, uh, speech and language centers are located in the left hemisphere, uh, in people who stutter too. So uh, there's an area called Broca's area that's uh, right above your ear inside the left hemisphere where the motor programming of speech happens and that's what allows you to make sounds and syllables and sentences. Uh, the problem is when uh, they measure people who stutter on these uh, different uh, investigative instruments, uh, MRI, PET scans, they see that stutterers are using their right hemisphere when they're talking. Their right hemisphere lights up more than their left hemisphere. So this is actually uh, the wrong hemisphere. The right hemisphere is used more for emotions and large perceptual things. Uh, uh, and it's used for music and uh, a lot of other holistic type things. Whereas the left hemisphere is good at analytical, short bursts of time, sequencing things and putting things together and taking them apart. It's the analytic side of your brain and it's actually much, much better for putting sounds and syllables together to make speech. So stutterers, unfortunately, are using the wrong hemisphere. Why they do that, why I do that, I don't know. But the good news is uh, there's a way to compensate for that using the information we know. <clears throat> so, uh, more emotion is uh, flooding. Remember that the right hemisphere is where the emotions are located. And uh, if you're trying to use that hemisphere to do analytical tasks like speaking, it's hard enough. But the emotional part of the right hemisphere is also flooding in there too. And I'm sure that has something to do with you do more stuttering in more emotional situations or when you're excited uh, or just when uh, uh, you're trying to speak because uh, the right hemisphere is trying to handle both the analytical speaking and the emotional part of it. So no wonder it's hard to talk. Now, what do we do about that? As I was saying before, the answer is to train the left hemisphere to plan and sequence like normal speakers. And uh, in order to do that, uh, you really need somebody to walk you through that who knows what they're doing. You also, it, it helps a lot if you have some good real-time feedback of how your voice is working. We'll talk about that in a minute. But in order to produce that, you can try these things yourself using the left hemisphere. Try using shorter phrases. When you use shorter phrases, the left hemisphere doesn't have to work as hard to plan a really long sentence like this and keep on going and think of the next words. If you take a break every few words, you're able to not only plan the next phrase, but execute it with a nice smooth voice. So you need to pause as long as you need to before each phrase. Give yourself enough time to plan that phrase. And you need to keep your voice on all through the phrase. Now, the thing that helps you not stutter mostly is keeping your voice on. That's why singing works and you don't stutter. So if you want something that is uh, going to train you in these skills and, and a program that is put together just for that purpose, uh, I have a program that uses a throat microphone and picks up your voice vibrations 
and sends them back to an app on your cell phone. And you can see how your voice is working. So you can make modifications and adjustments and learn how to keep your voice on more often. As a matter of fact, the app actually sets a target for you to make sure your voice is on more often. So I'm scheduling new spots now. I see about two or three new patients a week. Uh, let me know if I can help. Thanks a lot. Bye. Mark Power here. And if you like this video, then don't forget to like and subscribe for more helpful videos like this one. Also, be sure to hit the share button and leave us a comment below so that others can benefit from it as well. I'll be recording a lot more helpful videos like this one to help you overcome your stuttering. And if you'd like to be notified, then click on the bell icon below.